I bring you greetings from here. Today I want to talk about the identity and cultural value of Africa. You know, as I was growing up as a child, my teacher used to tell me that what should be my first name is my English name. And I believed that until when I began to make research, until when I began to grow socially, until when I began to grow mentally, psychologically, and otherwise. Then I discovered that what was told by my teacher is a lie. What should serve as my first name should be my given name, my original name my identification name because once you you are unable to be identified by whom you are by your name you know that you are bearing a fake name if you mention your name and somebody could not be able to detect or identify that this is your tribe or this is the country where you are coming from or this is the tribe where you are coming from know that you are bearing a fake name and if you are having an English name as your first name, it is totally wrong. You know, all these things came up during the era of slavery. When a slave master wants to take you as a slave, the first thing he will do is to change your name, to bear his name. During the era of slavery, some that we are bearing brown, they now gave their slaves the name brown so that we are bearing white also gave the the name white to their slaves this is how they were able to differentiate their own slaves and it is unfortunate that we claim that we have regained independence after slavery and colonialism but today we are still tying ourselves with the whole identity that was given to us during slavery and during colonialism. During slavery, our names we are changed. During colonialism, the names of our original nations and regions we are changed. But today we have gained independence. Only few countries in Africa have been able to change from their given name by their colonial masters to the original name. For example, I remember that Ghana during the colonialism, Ghana used to bear is its uh, 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 gold coast. But when Kwame Nkrumah came in power in 1957, he was able to change the name to Ghana that you hear today. I remember that even uh, Thomas Sankara of Burkina Faso, during colonialism, they were given upper voter by the colonial masters but when thomas sankara came to leadership he was able to change the name from upper voter to burkina faso you know you know today but it is unfortunate that majority of african countries are still bearing the name that was given to them by the colonial masters you are still a slave to them that is why you are still answerable to them even as well as the currency that was given to you you cannot tell me that senegal who claim that they have gained independence from Ghana, but they are still using the currency of Ghana, of, 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 of France. You cannot tell me that a particular, any country will claim that they have gained independence, but they are still bearing, having their currency, the currency of their slave or, or colonial masters. If you are a leader in any country in Africa, and your country is still using the currency of your colonial masters or nation, you are still under colonialism or you are still under neo-colonial project or imperialism. It is when you regain your consciousness, the first thing you will do is to regain your identity. Your identity is what matters most. If you claim that you have gained independence, you have to gain independence 100% by changing your name that was given by your colonial masters, the currency that was given by your colonial masters to your own name, your original name and your original currency. That is when you can stand out to say that you have gained independence. It is very unfortunate that the majority of African countries are still bearing 
the name that was given to them by the colonial masters and are also using the currency of their colonial nations. So I urge you today to start bearing your original names, whether as individual or as a nation. Many people that know me from childhood knows that I bear my English name, which is Anselm. But as I began to grow up, I have to terminate that name and start bearing my original name that I have today as Nemeka Nkem. The ambassador I put is a title because I'm a United Nations Youth Ambassador on MDGs. That is where I gained the title ambassador that I, I attached to my name as a title. I bear my original name today as Nemeka Nkem. That is, that is to prove to you that, that I, I have developed my brain, that my eyes are open, that I am civilized. Whenever I mention my name to the, even the, to the whites, they will know that, yes, this is truly an African. This man is truly free. This man is truly not under colonial influence. The same thing is attached to the cultural values of Africa. Majority of African countries that we are influenced by the cultural value of the Westerners are yet today to regain their cultural value. Every tribe in Africa has what they are known for, have, has their culture. But majority today are now practicing the culture of the West than their own original culture that they are known for. It is very unfortunate. We also need to do something very urgent about the cultural value. Because after your identity, the next thing about every individual or every, every tribe is their culture. Your culture is what tells you who you are. Any nation that has no culture is just like is just like a calabash floating under a river, on, on floating on a river. Let us Africa today start to regain our identity and our cultural values. This is the only step that we will take that these people will now know that yes, these people have opened their eyes and opened their brains. That these people now want to be free. Indeed. Because today, what I see as independence and freedom is not independence, truly, and freedom. We are still under the influence of colonialism. We are still under the influence of slavery in Africa. It is very unfortunate and disheartening. Therefore, I urge all the African leaders, all the African tribes, to start today to regain her independence, to regain her identity and cultural value. We are Africans, and we will always remain Africans. There is no how you can do it today to bear any name, and now they will now recognize you as a white person. You are Africa, you are Africa. Your name should tell who you are. Your identity should tell who you are. Your culture should tell who you are. And this is who we are. We are Africans. Thank you, and God bless you.